So what we want to talk about is we're going to find out, first of all, does God even care about the Sabbath whatsoever? So before we can go any further, it's, it's a relevant question to answer. Because if he doesn't care, if the creator of the universe, Yahweh, does not care about the Sabbath, then we don't need to go any further in our study. So we're going to determine that right up front. He says in Exodus chapter 20, verse 11, he says, For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth. And every time you see L-O-R-D in capital letters in your Bible, that is the actual tetragrammaton or the Hebrew proper name for Yahweh, yod heh vav -Heh. So you'll hear me say Yahweh whenever, I, uh, whenever we read L-O-R-D because that's what it actually says in the Hebrew. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea and all that's in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, Yahweh blessed the seventh day, or the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. So one of the very first things that we're going to be talking about, if he says, to answer the question, does he care, is right here in Exodus, we find that he gives a commandment. So it's really almost a silly question, although we're going to work through it, we're going to get the answer to it, to ask the question, does he care about something that he said is a commandment, is like me telling one of my five daughters uh, to clean your room on Thursday night and have them ask, well, does God, does, does Daddy really even care if we clean it at all? And so I, I want to propose and submit that to you, that really even asking the question is really a strange question because he's the potter, we are the clay. If he says uh, to do something, then we should do it and not ask why or if we should, if he really meant it. Because ultimately, isn't that what the enemy said in the garden? The serpent said, he didn't really mean. He didn't really mean for you to do that. You won't really die. There's always asking the question. Uh, but for the sake of argument, we're going to work through this. Back to the beginning. Acts chapter 3, verse 20 says this, And they, and that he may send Yeshua the Messiah, who is, what's his Hebrew name, is Yeshua, who was preached to you before, whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began. And at what point on the timeline do you think he'll be restoring all things? Because listen, we have a, a very Greek mentality. We have a timeline that starts over here and ends over here. And so when we have to ask the question, we come to Acts chapter 3, verse 20, when it says that at the end of time, he's going to restore all things. Well, at what point on this timeline is he going to restore all things? Is it going to be in, in, in the 21st century, sometime in the 21st century, sometime in the 20th century? Is he going to restore it to the times of the first century? Or is he going to restore it all the way back to when he said it was very good? Come and join us as we travel back in time 4,000 years ago to discover exactly where the holidays of Christmas, Easter, and even Valentine's Day come from. Why do we celebrate the birth of Jesus on December 25th? Whose birthday really is on December 25th? Where did we come up with December 25th? Where did the star on top of the Christmas tree come from? Where did the Christmas tree itself come from? Where did St. Nicholas come from? Are we sure that St. Nicholas even existed? Have you ever wondered where the famous phrase, ho, 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 comes from? It comes from the late 1600s when they used to have plays and before the devil would come on stage, he would announce himself by saying, ho, ho, ho. Did you know that original Santa's elves weren't little guys that made toys, they were Krampus demons that would punish the children if they weren't good for that year, while St. Nicholas would give them gifts if they were good. Who is the Easter Bunny? Where did we get Easter eggs from? Why do we celebrate Easter on the first Sunday after the vernal equinox? Did you know that Christmas was illegal in the United States until the mid-1800s? Can we celebrate these holidays according to the Bible? This is by far the most popular video on the internet on the history of Christmas and Easter. This video has changed hundreds of thousands of people's lives and it will change your life too. Thank <laughs> you.